I'm Barb Natterson Horowitz. I am a cardiologist here at UCLA. I've been a professor of medicine for uh, 25 years, but I'm also an evolutionary biologist. And what I've been doing for the last decade is turning to the natural world, so looking at the health of other animals to better understand my human patients. Growing up, we went to a lot of national parks. We were very interested in the natural world. It's beauty, all that we can learn from it. I see everything through what I sometimes call my species-spanning lens. What can we learn about human health by opening our eyes to the shared vulnerability of disease that we have with so many other species? The Okapi have a disproportionately high risk of developing postpartum cardiomyopathy. So after the mother gives birth, the chance of them developing heart failure is significantly higher than in antelope and these other animals. So that is really interesting to me because that suggests that we can use that information maybe to better understand why certain human patients are more vulnerable than others. Heart disease, cardiovascular disease, is the leading cause of death in women. That is now a global issue. When a woman's left ventricle faces high blood pressure over a long period of time, it gets thick. Some of my patients, they're short of breath moving from their bed to the bathroom, and we don't have a good solution. There's a really wonderful animal uh, that a lot of us love, the iconic giraffe. Their ventricle, like my human patients who have had high blood pressure over years, has gotten very, very thick. But here's the difference. As the neck was getting longer and longer, they faced predators. Modern giraffe flee predators at 40 kilometers an hour. Giraffe today have a thickened ventricle, but not a stiff ventricle. This adaptation protects them from the leading cause of heart failure that we see in humans. That is very exciting. One of my favorite writers is Rachel Carson. She said, in nature, nothing exists alone. The challenges that we face, the biology that makes us vulnerable to those diseases, we share with countless other animal species. And once you see that as a physician, you can't ever see a human patient in the same way again.